What's up, Buttercup? I liked your video this week. Uh, I'm sure that your shower turned out really great. I can't wait to see pictures. Um, thank you for giving me a break on missing my video last week. It was just a stressful and difficult time with my grandpa's funeral. Um, so this week, what I'm going to be reading, or doing, is uh, reading to you some of my own personal writings from when I was younger. Uh, I found uh, something that I wrote when I was in the 8th grade, and this is inspired by Mortified the Podcast, which you should definitely check out. It's where people read their childhood writings to great embarrassment. So here is uh, maybe the best thing I found, the most mortifying thing I found. It is my eighth grade autobiography. <laughs> All right, here's a juicy story from the sixth grade. So I was writing about this a uh, year and a half, maybe two years later. <laughs> it's, oh, little is. <clears throat> I really liked a tall kid named Lucas. One day I was over at Angie's home and he called her. He asked her if she wanted to go out with him. She didn't know that I liked him. And so she said yes. There wasn't really much else but, hi but him to talk about after that. I went home and had to cry. So I went out back to a shed that the kids in our neighborhood called our clubhouse. I called it our clubhouse too. <laughs> Why is that like that? Um, I cried. Lee, who was my neighbor, came out and asked if I was okay. Of course I wasn't, so I told him to go away. He seemed genuinely concerned. Um, so many of these words are misspelled, like coarse is like coarse hair. Genuinely, really bad. Obviously, Alexis, who was one of my friends, knew, so that night when she was babysitting Lee's siblings, she called and we talked for a while, and then she asked if I liked Lee. I said I hadn't really thought about it. She asked if I would go out with him. I was shocked and said, sure. <laughs> she put him on the phone and he said this, Liz, will you go out with me? I said, yes. And he said, cool. That was the extent of our conversation. He invited me up to his tree house one night to have pizza. Right before I left, I grabbed some of my mom's homemade pizza. She makes the best pizza in the world. She still does. I climbed over the fence and up to the treehouse. I knocked and it was promptly opened. The floor was covered in blankets because Lee, Zach, and Lee's little brother were sleeping up there. His dog had also been made to join us. His mother was afraid and figured the dog would make it better. <laughs> uh, we ate pizza and played Nintendo. We talked and wondered what to say in the lapse of silence. It was not the most comfortable night, but I got to know Lee a little better and his dog too. One final entry. So this was written on May 8th, 1998. It was my journal entry for that day. Hi, the school took us bowling today. I really use a lot of exclamation marks. Uh, it was fun. We just totally goofed off. Uh, I have had a hard time this week. Taking a turn. I just feel trapped by my life. The only thing that is helping me move forward is the church. My friends and I are changing and moving in totally opposite directions. It is awful. Wednesday, I felt really depressed, so I went on a walk. On the second time around the block, I saw Zach and Lee. Zach said hi in his condescending way, and I just softly replied. I turned to walk in the opposite direction, and I began to cry. I cried for hours. I'm going to go see a ther therapist soon because I feel so depressed. So um, something I didn't write about, I read through my whole thing, uh, was that this year, eighth grade, <clears throat> I was depressed a lot and I had a really bad time of crying for like a day. And so my parents took me to a therapist and to a doctor and the therapist was very helpful. I talked through a lot of important things with him. Um, and, but the thing that helped more was they took me to a doctor. She did some blood work and it turned out I had strep, not manifesting in like my throat anymore, but like in my bloodstream. So my body was like always fighting being sick. So I was achy, I was tired and depressed because I was sick and they got me medicine and I got better. And um, I didn't write about that very well in this journal a few times about being depressed, and I did write twice about seeing the therapist, but I didn't ever write about that it was because I was sick. I think, wonder if it took me a while to really understand that. Anyway, mortified. I am a little bit embarrassed here, maybe not mortified, and you should check out Mortified the podcast. It's really good.
Bye-bye, buttercup.